today let's talk about denominations bashing Catholics some church denominations love to bash Catholics that's the topic to today we are going to talk about church service is a time for praise and worship learning about our Lord Jesus Christ instead some of the denominations they pick on Catholic Church make false ac accusations or charges against Pope as an antichrist or a false prophet calling the Catholic Church as a war of Babylon accusing to teach the doctrines of demons calling the priest father is forbidden praying repetitive words using rosary beads as forbidden Virgin Mary purgatory etc and the list goes on and all these 33,800 different church denominations are claiming to be true Bible based church all claiming to be preach the Bible yet wearing different names and teaching different doctrines having human founders does God call all these preachers and then cause them to preach conflicting doctrines does God call all these 33,800 different Christian denominations to preach these contradictory doctrines John 17 20 is to 23 and 1st Corinthians chapter 1 13 uh, 10 is to 13 teach that he does not denominations do nothing more than creating doubt to the minds of unbelievers denominations bring disgrace towards God's word as the fuel Satan's war on truth denominations have brought false divisions that break off God's church Titus 1 is to 9 Acts 20 is to 30 I kindly request you to go to these verses and read it carefully God's church was not founded by any man or a woman but rather by Jesus Christ who is its only founder and its only foundation 1st Corinthians 3 is to 11 but there is only one true one truth right with partial truth they cannot claim to have full truth Bible has both sides truths but these denominations talk about one side scripture only first peter 3 to 8 says finally all of you be like-minded be sympathetic love one another be compassionate and humble some denominations claim jesus condemned traditions colossians 2 is to 8 if so did he allow in 2 Thessalonians 2 is to 15 to stand firm and hold on to the traditions which you were taught whether by word of mouth or by letter and praises the Corinthians because they hold firmly to the traditions 1 Corinthians 11 is to 2 these pastors claim to obey the Bible obey the gospel obey the truth yet they cause divisions among brothers and teach hatred towards Catholic Church these pastors are ignorant of God's righteousness and are establishing their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God Romans 10 3 to 4 many of them are not truly informed of Catholic beliefs and faith and are close-minded to understand anything they neither take time to research about Catholic faith nor examine with scriptures perfectly unfortunately there are many churches openly bash the Catholics for their faith and beliefs and spend their time in criticizing and attacking Catholic Church and its teachings they continuously argue that there is no biblical proof and immediately reject when proof given and they are the ones deficient and inaccurately representing Catholic Church I had been to several Protestant denominations to see what they teach and what are their beliefs and how they are all I have seen is just 
pure hatred for Catholics and Catholic Church. I have not one time seen even one similar Catholic attack on Protestant churches or even one bad word said about Catholics um, towards Protestants. Scripture tells us that as Christians we will be known by our fruits evidenced in the way that we love one another. John 13 is to 35. Those who hate other fellow Catholics, how do they demonstrate love to one another? They have become the stumbling blocks to the Jews and Gentiles and to the Church of God. 1 Corinthians 10 is to 32. Catholic Church is the most hated Christian church and persecuted in the world through decades. Matthew 5, 11 is to 12 reminds us that are blessed. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. The love of God is supposed to be expressed to the people of all faiths, both Jews and Gentiles. But these pastors claiming to be saved and yet have lost their souls and are rebelling against God, believing that they are pleasing to God. We know that all of them do not preach the only Bible for they are many and the Bible is one. All translations are not equal. The Old King James Version, for example, is known to have over 1,600 errors, mostly in translation. You can Google it up and look, look it up. And does not include the deuterocanonical Deutero books or what Protestants refer to as the Apocrypha, seven books which are in the Catholic Bible. The Bible does not teach contradictory doctrines. These preachers hold the Bible up and say, we preach the Bible, that is what we do, they say, but they have forgotten that they are sowing the seeds of hatred in the minds of the fellow believers and are dividing the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1 is to 10 says, I plead with you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another so that there may be no divisions among you and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. And such pastors wanted you to get baptized in their denomination or in their church. Also, it is not necessary to get baptism over and over just because you go to one denomination or again and again in different churches. Baptism is one. Holy Spirit is one. There is only one truth and there is only one true church. That settles the issue. Catholic Church was prefigured by Old Testament prophets, Genesis 14 is to 18, and its founder is Jesus Christ himself, and promised it would be defended from within and from without, as he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, Matthew 16 is to 18. It was built on Simon Peter, Matthew 16 is to 18 guided by the Holy Spirit who will dwell within it. John 14, 15 is to 17, Acts 15 is to 28, Acts 16 is to 6, has one fold and one shepherd. John 10 is to 16, having priests, bishops and deacons. 1 Timothy 3, 1 is to 13. Having the Holy Communion celebrations, Matthew 28 is to 20. Examine your church to see if it meets all of these requirements with no human person founder. Okay, Jesus Christ is not married. Hence, the priests of Catholic Church follow the Christ example and there, and there is nothing wrong in it.
but other denominations say uh, to be a church elder one has to be a married if that is the case then Jesus Christ is the elder of the church so by priests not being married and they have dedicated their lives in serving Christ is good first Corinthians 7 is to 8 and first Corinthians 7 is to 37 and thank you for watching take care